Hi everyone, I am making some tags, some Christmas tags uh, actually, and these are some old pricing labels my son used for his business. Um, he did some writing on it and that wasn't um, waterproof uh, apparently because when I uh, added a layer of gesso it all smeared out over the tag. But it doesn't matter because they are going to be covered up and you won't see anything of that later on. I am gessoing the front and the back of the cards because I think that prevents it from buckling up all that much. And these are tags um, for our friends really, a uh, kind of little surprise because we are celebrating Christmas Eve at their house and as every year we are going to play the Christmas gift game. Uh, I'm sure you know what a Christmas gift game is. Um, it's actually a game but you can also use some dice and for example when you throw a six uh, you can um, get a present and when you dice uh, says four um, you can open the present. Um, there are um, things like uh, go and sit uh, one place further on the left or one place further on the right or give your present to your neighbor or uh, all that kind of fun thing so uh, you buy some presents for each other and you will not know uh, which you are going to take home because that might as well can be the presents you bought yourself. So a very fun game and we play it for years now. And these are the tags that go with the presents that I uh, have bought for them. And um, as you see, I've gessoed them all and now I've, um, I am gluing down some music note uh, paper with a mud parch. So when these tags are getting numbers, if they're going to be 10 tags and I have 10 pr uh, little presents and um, each tag belongs to a present and I'm going to write uh, a, a little rhyme on the back of them later on and um, but I'm not going to add them to the presents themselves. I bought something very nice and I'm going to attach them to that. You will see later on in the video. So um, once I glued down all the music note paper, I am now adding some texture with the Liquitex modeling paste. And this is a stencil from Stamping Back the Diamonds. So uh, on Christmas Eve, we are going to our friends to uh, celebrate Christmas and the presents we buy every year, well, there are 10 of them because uh, five per person. And you might think, well, that's quite a lot or maybe for a lot of money, but no, we just buy little presents, just, uh, for a few uh, dollars and uh, not more than five dollars uh, and that can be uh, shampoo or some chocolate or that sort of things, tiny things uh, which are usable, which are yummy, which are just uh, good to have, some candles maybe, that sort of thing. Um, what I did now was adding some uh, acrylic spray paint, a homemade acrylic spray paint in a purple color. Um, I asked my hubby, uh, name a color, and his favorite color is purple, so that's what he said. So, okay, I'm going to add purple. And this is a sort of um, lace tape. It's, for, it's paper uh, and it's... Um, in, in a lace pattern 
and I'm adding a few little pieces on every uh, tag. And it's almost Christmas now. Uh, what are you going to do with those holidays? We are going to visit our friends, of course, and my son has moved out and he will celebrate Christmas for the first time in his own uh, little house. And we are going to visit them on the first day of Christmas. And we're going to play the same game with them as well. So. Uh, last Saturday I spent the whole afternoon wrapping up presents. I, it took me a couple of hours to do them all. Well, they were 20, so yeah. Now I am stamping with the Finna Bear uh, stamp, Messy, it's called, and I'm using the Stazon ink pads and the second day of Christmas we are going to visit my parents and the parents of my husband and we had have even a third Christmas day because we we well it's not that we have such a large family but um, well you need to get them all together, right? So <laughs> um, the third, uh, the day after Christmas, we um, go to my brother-in-law and my nephew uh, to do a Christmas brunch over there. So some more stamping here. And these are stamps by Craft Sensations some snowflakes and leaves uh, Christmassy stamps they are and because I have to number my tags I use some sticker numbers and there were a few in very bright colors and I painted them white Now I'm using the Pigma Micron <coughs> uh, fine liner uh, for uh, the little uh, paper strips that say Merry Christmas. And then I take out some uh, wooden uh, embellishments of some flowers and there's a rabbit and there's a bird and a butterfly. And I'm gluing that down with the gel medium from Golden. And I didn't add anything to those wooden embellishments and uh, no paint, no gesso, nothing. Because I, I thought they look nice uh, on, the, on the tag this way. Just uh, inking the edges uh, with the Stazon uh, ink pad on my little paper strips. And also the edges of the little tags. So I got a whole bunch of these cards, these tags. As I said, my son used them for his business, but he doesn't anymore. He has some other pricing tags uh, now. And so I found um, a whole bunch of them in his old room. As I said, he moved out. He lives on his own now and with his girlfriend. And um, he didn't take those with them. So they're mine now 
so gluing down the little um, paper strips and then I want to add some gold splatters that didn't work all that well so I decided to just spray on them I thought that was a very nice combination the purple with the gold had to clean up the paper strips a bit and I am splattering with the white acrylic spray paint that I made myself That's about it for the front of the tags. Now I'm going to add a sticker on the back of the tag. And this, these are stickers that are from our Dymo uh, address label printer machine. And I uh, use those to stick on the back and to make it um, a bit nicer I'm going to add the lace uh, tape again just on the edge of the sticker so it looks a bit nicer Then I have this little heart stamp which had no brand name on it and I'm stamping a little heart on each of the tags and there will be my little rhyme um, to add on the back of the uh, on the back of the tag and I'm using a heart and uh, all my little rhymes, there are no, not longer than two sentences. Um, I, we start each uh, rhyme with in our hearts. It's just a way to show um, our friends how much we appreciate them. And um, well, we uh, manage to incorporate a hint in those rhymes that uh, will lead to the, the present, what's in the present, but I'm not sure uh, if they will uh, guess it. So adding um, a rope, a thin rope string to all the tags and they are done. So now uh, we get to see where I am going to add them to. I bought this heart. Um, it's all of little wooden uh, pieces and with a thick rope on it and I'm going to add all my cards on there and that will be a little extra present for our friends It's a bit of a fiddly job, but I managed to get it work and the end result is, is very nice. So I can't wait to see uh, our friends uh, and what they think of this. Hopefully they like it. Oh, I'm sure they will like it. So I hope you have a very nice Christmas uh, People, I hope you will enjoy being with your families and friends and celebrating these lovely days and I wish you all the best luck for the new year and a lot of health, a lot of happiness, a lot of love and most of all a lot of creativity. So that's it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and will be back uh, Hopefully very soon I am trying to um, do another video for the wrap up mission inspiration 
challenge and um, so that's one that will hopefully come next week but um, well thanks for watching guys and uh, see you soon bye bye